Hi, I'm Eric Roeder and I'm with Driver Development at Bison Transport. We're here in our maintenance shop today looking at our new 2014 Freightliner Evolution. Now these tractors are significantly more aerodynamic. They have a lot more aerodynamic skirting. There's also an integrated uh, CB antenna built right into the roof to also cut down on uh, aerodynamic uh, problems. Uh, these mirrors have been redesigned no longer have the problem of shooting snow and, and rain onto the side windows. Uh, we've got uh, front fender mirrors on both sides of these tractors and amazing new LED headlights. These new LED headlights are simply just amazing. Our drivers are going to love them. Uh, they have a much wider beam pattern and enable the driver to see much greater distance at night. Uh, they also are very low maintenance and last significantly longer than regular halogen lights. Just to give you an idea, regular halogen lights uh, have a lifespan of about 300 hours or so and these are rated for 30,000 hours. Alright, so let's have a look under the hood of these uh, fabulous new trucks. Uh, there are latches on both sides. They can be a little bit tricky. You want to pull down the lever and then reach in there and pull up a little hook that latches underneath. There's a handhold right here to open the hood. Uh, if a smaller person has trouble pulling that hood, it can also be opened this way. So we've got uh, washer fluid fill location right here. There's a couple of tow hooks mounted right here. And uh, this is a Detroit diesel 15 engine with well over 500 horsepower. It's mated to the Detroit DT12 transmission, which is a 12 speed automated transmission. Fantastic transmission. And uh, we'll head over to the other side of the engine and take a look at some of the other fluid fill locations. All right, so under the hood on this side, uh, we've got our coolant uh, fluid right here, and right next to that is the oil filler. The dipstick, of course, is right over here. We've got our power steering fluid fill right here, our fuel filter, and our air dryer right here. And then actually under the hood, a little bit around the corner here, uh, there's a sensor to make sure that when the hood is open, uh, the engine doesn't start by itself, because these trucks are actually equipped with the optimum idle system, which means the engine of the truck will start and stop uh, based on information received from three different sensors. So that sensor here is designed to make sure the engine doesn't start when a driver or someone is checking fluids or working on the engine. Uh, there is also a beeper mounted under the hood here and that beeper uh, just goes off a couple of times right before the engine starts. Uh, just in case there's uh, someone walking by, it will let them know that the engine's about to start. Just on the side of the truck here, you'll see this certified clean idle decal. And even though the engine starts and stops on its own with the optimum idle system, uh, it is certified clean idle for California, as well as CARB certified for all of North America, uh, which again will present a significant fuel savings for our fleet. Right here under the driver's door is uh, Another panel that uh, is just held on with magnets. Our battery box is under here and our diesel exhaust fluid filler is right here. Uh, diesel exhaust fluid is something that's injected into the exhaust that greatly reduces emissions to the atmosphere. And those days of big black clouds coming out of our smokestacks are long gone. You can't even smell diesel around these trucks. So these new tractors are uh, actually equipped with uh, glad hands here, of course, to hook up to a trailer. And additionally, there's some glad hands at the back of the tractor. Uh, there are valves right here to switch between the two. And it's very important uh, for a driver who's going to be hooking up to a trailer to make sure these are in the correct position, which they are right now. So this would be to use these glad hands to hook to a trailer. And the alternate position, having them up like this, switches them to the glad hands at the back of the tractor. Another thing that we have on these trucks is low rolling resistant tires and these wonderful wheel covers they just attach with velcro you can see and they clip in here fairly easy to get on and off if you need to access the wheels but they present a significant uh, reduction in fuel usage so another thing that's different about these trucks is we've got a fixed fifth wheel on them now uh, but it is air powered so a driver comfort feature that drivers will be very happy about 
So all of these trucks are also equipped with a pintle hitch at the back of the uh, tractor and the additional glad hands. Uh, and that gives us the ability to pull converters around uh, for our turnpike fleet. Here we are in the cab of our truck. We're going to have a look at some of the uh, awesome new features of this truck. Uh, one of the things that uh, drivers really love is the integrated Bluetooth. Uh, you can hook your smartphone right into the system and uh, use a hands-free. We've also got uh, in here, this is the uh, column for the automa automated transmission. And uh, you can shift up or down using it if you have it switched to manual. Or you can leave it on automatic and it drives much like a car. Uh, we've also got the uh, buttons here, right on the steering wheel, uh, for the cruise control and the optimum idle system. And then over here, we have the valve for the air-operated fifth wheel. And uh, there's also uh, S-bar heaters in this truck uh, for heating both the engine coolant and there's an additional one for keeping the driver warm in the bunk when it's necessary. Okay, here we are in the bunk of our 2014 Freightliner Evolution. Uh, there's an awful lot of storage room in these bunks. Cupboards, cabinets for hanging clothes and uh, there's also some cubby holes here to uh, install a television or a microwave. And we also equip all of these trucks with inverters which uh, converts the uh, 12 volt power of the truck's batteries to 115 volts uh, so that uh, drivers can plug in their TVs and DVD players and that sort of a thing. Uh, the bunk itself is equipped with a very comfortable mattress and uh, there's actually uh, windows back here and uh, fairly easy to open and close these. Uh, if you need privacy, you've got it. If you want to see out the window, you can. All in all, a very, very comfortable truck.